lose. You know, because the offense wasn't always clicking in the Spurrier days, right? I mean, the Gamecocks had to win some kind of sloppy games and and lean on their defense. That game sort of reminded me of those vintage 10 to 13 games where the defensive line would just would just take over, right, and, and suffocate mm-hmm. the opponent and give the offense time to sort of get going. And, and so that was a lot of fun to watch. You know what I mean? Obviously, you come out of that football game, there's still a lot left to be desired on the offensive side, but it was so much fun to watch that defense finally, you know, that, especially that defensive line kind of live up to, you know, we've set lofty expectations and lofty goals for that unit. But guys like Zach Pickens, Jordan Birch, I thought were flying around, right? Their performances need to be recognized for sure. Tonka Hemingway – had arguably his best performance in Garnet and Black thus far. Um, so it was great to see the defense flying around. Offensively, you get some things going. And if nothing else, if nothing else, you feel like you do have some positives to build off of from that second half. But all in all, huge win. And obviously the role that the culture climate thing played in that game. I mean, I, I had people last week telling me, oh, Chris, it's not a big deal. The coaches have forgotten about it. Why are you bringing up these old quotes? And, and obviously that was not the case because they had the T-shirts ready to go. They even had the shades. They, they took that very personally. And I, mean, I think it really, guys, goes to show why coaches, why they kind of live and die by the coach speak. I know we get tired of it, but Mark Stoops handed South Carolina a loaded gun practically when he made those comments. So.